Psalm 35 is a timeless testimony of seeking divine protection in times of adversity. This psalm, attributed to David, stands as a powerful prayer that cries out for safeguarding against the threats that loom around every corner of our lives today. Focusing on the quest for God's protection in the face of human wickedness and hostility, this prayer is a refuge against jealousy, falsehood, betrayal, and injustice that we often encounter. This psalm offers an anchor of divine security. Not only as a defense against adversities, but as a guide to finding comfort and strength in God's promises of protection and justice. So, I invite you to recite this powerful psalm with me. Be it silently, in the quiet of your heart, or aloud. I also invite you to prepare a glass of water because, in the end, we will ask for God's intervention to bless this water and that by drinking it, you may be freed from all actions of the enemy against your life. And if possible, share it with someone going through a moment of turmoil. Let's unite and defeat the enemy, let's unite with God, our only Lord and Savior. Psalm 35 Plead my cause, O Lord, with those who strive with me. Fight against those who fight against me. Take hold of shield and buckler, and stand up for my help. Also draw out the spear, and stop those who pursue me. Say to my soul, I am your salvation. Let those be put to shame and brought to dishonor who seek after my life. Let those be turned back and brought to confusion who plot my hurt. Let them be like chaff before the wind, and let the angel of the Lord chase them. Let their way be dark and slippery, and let the angel of the Lord pursue them. For without cause they have hidden their net for me in a pit, which they have dug without cause for my life. Let destruction come upon him unexpectedly, and let his net that he has hidden catch himself, into that very destruction let him fall. And my soul shall be joyful in the Lord, it shall rejoice in his salvation. All my bones shall say, Lord, who is like you, delivering the poor from him who is too strong for him, yes, the poor and the needy from him who plunders him. Fierce witnesses rise up, they ask me things that I do not know. They reward me evil for good, to the sorrow of my soul. But as for me, when they were sick, my clothing was sackcloth, I humbled myself with fasting, and my prayer would return to my own heart. I paced about as though he were my friend or brother, I bowed down heavily, as one who mourns for his mother. But in my adversity they rejoiced and gathered together. Attackers gathered against me, and I did not know it, they tore at me and did not cease. With ungodly mockers at feasts they gnashed at me with their teeth. Lord, how long will you look on? Rescue me from their destructions, my precious life from the lions. I will give you thanks in a great assembly, I will praise you among many people. Let them not rejoice over me who are wrongfully my enemies, nor let them wink with the eye who hate me without a cause. For they do not speak peace but they devise deceitful matters against the quiet ones in the land. They also opened their mouth wide against me, and said, Aha, aha! Our eyes have seen it. This you have seen, O Lord, do not keep silence. O Lord, do not be far from me. Stir up yourself, and awake to my vindication, to my cause, my God and my Lord. Vindicate me. O Lord my God, according to your righteousness, and let them not rejoice over me. Let them not say in their hearts, Ah, so we would have it. Let them not say, We have swallowed him up. Let them be ashamed and brought to mutual confusion who rejoice at my hurt. Let them be clothed with shame and dishonor who exalt themselves against me. Let them shout for joy and be glad, who favor my righteous cause. And let them say continually, Let the Lord be magnified, who has pleasure in the prosperity of his servant. And my tongue shall speak of your righteousness and of your praise all the day long.
My merciful God, hear my voice in this time of need. Just as David called for your intervention against his enemies, I also stand before you. Protect me, O Lord, from those wishing me harm, from those plotting against my peace and prosperity. May your justice be my shield against false testimonies and betrayals. Strengthen me in the face of those who rejoice in my misfortune. May your light dispel the shadows of those seeking my destruction. May your truth be revealed upon me, and every trap set against me dissolve in your power. Strengthen my faith and confidence in you, O oh God, to face life's challenges and struggles. May your guidance be my compass and your love my stronghold. Just as David found refuge in you, I too seek shelter under your protection. Grant me your grace to move forward, knowing you are with me at all times. May your peace flood my being, and may your justice prevail over any adversity. Amen. At this moment, I ask you to place your hands upon this glass of water and pray with me. Beloved God, I place this water, a symbol of life and purity, in your hands. Just as David sought protection in Psalm 35, I ask that this water becomes a source of liberation and healing in my life. May each drop be infused with your divine strength, warding off all evil, negativity, and the actions of the enemy. When I drink it, may it become a shield, protecting me against traps and malevolence. As David called for defense, I implore this same protection upon my life as I drink this blessed water. May it be a balm for my soul, purifying, restoring, and freeing me from all my enemies. May this water manifest your grace, bringing peace, liberation, and discernment. Each sip a renewal and strengthening, both spiritually and physically. In the name of your infinite mercy, Lord, consecrate this water as an instrument of protection and healing in my life. I ask that you consecrate it in the name of your Son, Jesus. Amen. After you drink from this water, may you feel the constant presence of God in your life, strengthening your faith and renewing your hopes. I invite you to immerse yourself in this period of deep prayer, invoking the strength of this psalm for seven days. And may each time you recite these words, you feel the healing and protective presence of our Lord. Amen.